Alrighty guys, what is going up? In today's video, we are going to be looking at why I just bought more Palantir stock. Now, for those of you that don't know what Palantir is, Palantir is a big data and software company that's been growing at an astonishing rate. They have a variety of contracts ranging from hundreds of millions of dollars with the US Army, and then they just have a couple million dollar contracts with a variety of other companies and businesses um, across the United States. Now, Palantir has made a crazy move um, since they released the stock for the public to buy. You can see the stock went from about $8 all the way up to $45. It did sell off and really hasn't done much ever since. We just had a, a, a lot of consolidation with the stock, which is very, very common to actually see that. We have the stock release, you know, allowing the public to buy. Huge amount of buying pressure take over. Once people realize, oh my gosh, the stock's kind of undervalued or overvalued, we get a lot of sell-off and then just consolidation until we have news and growth among the company. Now, if we actually look at Palantir's finances, you can see they've had a crazy year on revenue, right? They're up about 35% year over year, which is fantastic. One thing that I do not like is this. The net profit margin is negative 26%. So this means for every $100 Palantir brings in, they actually lose about $26. Um, which obviously means Palantir is not profitable. But it is very, very common to see these startups um, you know, not become profitable for years, right? Tesla started in about 2011 and became profitable right around 2017, 2018, right in that mark. So yes, it is very, very common, but Palantir was founded in 2003. So a lot of analysts think that Palantir could possibly never um, you know, become profitable. But I do think that with the overall growth of data and software, I do think we'll see Palantir become profitable. One thing that I do really love about Pat Palantir is they do have about $2.3 billion in cash. So this means if, if Palantir ever slows down or goes through a hard time, they have $2.3 billion to get through that struggle, to continue to pay employees, to continue to invest and grow the business. Now, when we when we look at the stock here, you may notice a couple of things. We'll make the chart a li little easier for you guys to see. So we did have that huge growth right in there. The stock has a lot of resistance at about $26 and a lot of support right at about 17 to 18 to 19 dollars right in this range we see this stock always get a lot of buying pressure so it hits it several times and we see buying pressure now one of the reasons i am picking up a couple of shares is yes i do think palantir does carry a lot of potential in the long term but also it does carry risk right you know a, a company like palantir is going to be more of a speculative and a higher risk higher reward um, investment if you compare it to other indexes or companies like Apple or Amazon or Google, companies that are well, a lot more well-established, Palantir is a straight growth stock, right? This stock could easily hit you know, $50 again, but it also could come down to, to $16, $14. And you have to understand that with Palantir just because it's always kind of in the news. And you know, a lot of people are always talking about uh, this stock. So for me, one of the main reasons why I'm picking up it is because I do think it does carry a lot of potential, a lot of risk though, and it's right on a support line. So virtually, if I hop in on this stock, let's just say right now, I could hop in, risk 5% to possibly have this stock make me 27%. So the risk and reward is there, but there is some pros um, to Palantir, the first one is competition. Palantir has a beautiful, beautiful, uh, kind of almost like a front runner's advantage with a lot of their, um, you know, software and data. And data is the future. Not to mention, they do have a lot of commercial growth, and Ark Invest is heavily invested in them. And Kathy Wood is known to be a, you know, pretty much like the Warren Buffett of today. She's a world class investor. So it's very, very interesting and awesome. Not to mention there is some cons with Palantir and you have to understand these cons before you invest in Palantir. The first one is they do have about 125 customers, which is not a ton. Number two is the market cap. A lot of people think that they are overvalued, um, you know, just because they are worth, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars and they only make a couple hundred million uh, throughout the year. 
The third thing that a lot of people don't like is they're not profitable. But hey, we know that the fourth thing is scalability. Where where will this stock be in 10 years? I personally think that there's going to be a lot of you know, this is going to be more of a sought after stock, to be honest with you, just because the overall growth of data and software. But guys, as long as you understand a lot of those pros, a lot of those cons, and you still think that Palantir is a good investment, then I would recommend it. A good strategy, obviously, would be right now buying on a support, not to mention dollar cost averaging, of course, just because it always works very, very well with these stocks. So guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe. Take care.